good squad thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so it's friday i'm feeling good it's march i feel like this year's progressing so fast summer's coming i'm excited so where are my cards all right guys here we go let's get into this reading let's see what's going on for squad now guys this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus taurus signs okay so just overall look whatever comes out comes out and just keep in mind guys that all the energies here could be transferable um now for those of you who are on instagram definitely check out my page high vibrations 44 so i do post um daily energies every day i post what videos are coming out when um the order of the monthly readings because i know you there's always a lot of people saying hey when are you going to post this sign when are you going to post that sign if you check my instagram you know exactly when okay all right y'all so let's see what's up and squad will. What is going on for Taurus? March 2019. And I feel like this is not straight. Yes, it is. Okay. OCD kicking in. All right. What? The squad getting into this month. So we have our past, present, all right, and future. Okay. So the energy that we have here is a wheel of fortune in the reverse. So when this energy comes out, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's something bad. It's just something that moves forward in a way that we didn't expect for it to. Okay, we have the devil card behind that. So something that doesn't go the way that you expect, it's something that could be toxic, but then there's that energy of, oh, I'm not messing with this. So you kind of doing everything you can to avoid the conflict. Okay, and that's where victory may come in or a sense of happiness and celebration may come in. So let's just see how everything plays out because I really just see something that's avoided here, something that feels forced that Taurus just doesn't want to be part of especially if there's secrets coming out about it. All right. Now, let's go to the past, guys. The first card that we have here, Nine of Swords. Um, so with this Nine of Swords, and who was it? I think it was Pisces that that was their first card, or it could have been Aquarius, which I just did. But with the Nine of Swords, guys, um, anxiety in a situation, feeling very heavy about something, maybe you know losing sleep at night because of it. And you have the five of wands so pettiness around this fighting arguing okay a lot of tense energies here because of something that feels kind of forced to you now when we see that hanged man in the reverse um it could be that you're kind of moving out of a place of limbo but it could also be that there's something that's against your wave okay something that's just not suiting who you are as a person so there's a sense of it just not feeling 100 percent natural for you okay Maybe it's someone that you're not, you know, um, genuinely invested in. It could be vice versa. Maybe it's something that um, was putting you in a place where it was making you tight money wise or it was making you just spend a lot of money. Okay. But I see a lot of guarded and unstable energy around this. Okay. And for the most part on the Taurus end is probably something that you genuinely don't want to deal with, whether you're, you're immersed in it or not. Okay. So the second card for the past, guys, world card in the verse, something that needs to be closed out, a chapter that needs to end, but you're still involved with it. Or maybe something that you're revisiting that you want to go back to, okay? Now we have the seven of swords in the reverse. And the king of wands in the verse. 
some of you straight up could have just found out about a cheating situation or maybe you cheat on someone and they found out about it. Um, for others of you, it could have been a situation where um, a secret came out and somebody was just really, really pissed off about it. Okay, so it totally could have been that. Um, but it's something that you were still involved with, although there is anger towards the situation and, you know, again, hostility towards the situation. And you're really just trying to look for a way of balance. Okay, Six of Pentacles, last card for the past. So let's see why this is here. We have the Three of Wands. Queen of Swords in the reverse. So you know that in order to find balance here, you just have to turn your back. Whether it's you that has to be the bitchy person or whether it's someone else who's going to have that bitchy hostile energy towards you, you turn your back. Okay, you want balance in your life. For a lot of you, this could have been tough because it could have been something that you really wanted. For others of you, you could be in a place where you feel like you're not getting what you want and you become very petty. But then that's when it comes in and the burden goes away that you were feeling towards it, okay? So let's see how things develop. We're in our present moment now. So the first card here, guys, is the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with the Libra Aquarius or Gemini or this could be just your focus, okay? Saying, all right, look, I need to do this by this day and, um, you know, this is how I'm going to get it done and I can't let anything derail me. We have the Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like for some of you, two scenarios here, for some of you, you could be talking about what you're fed up with, what you no longer want to accept in your life or something that you feel needs to change and you're just having that communication. For others of you, um, there's something that you could be involved in where some sort of betrayal happens or something, you know, kind of heavy happens and you're just like, crap, you know, this is too much at this point. Okay. Um, but there's definitely a sense of uh, betrayal or, you know, something that just wasn't genuine. Maybe someone that you guys can't speak to anymore. Okay. But what you have to understand is that actually leads you to something magnificent. For some of you, you go right into the arms of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, for others of you, it could just be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio friend that helps you out or just, you know, someone that's important to you that's a water sign. But this could also be something that brings in money where you're feeling much happier. But with the Ace of Pentacles, you're going towards something that's going to have longevity. So yeah, certain things aren't working out, but little do you realize is that it's setting you up for something that, you know, in my opinion, with these cards here is going to be a hell of a lot better. Now, with the Seven of Cups in the reverse as the next card, this is also the center of the reading. All right, so when I see that center card, I'm like, okay, how does everything in this reading tie into this? Um, this is you seeing shit for what it is. Everything's out on the table. You know, if there's anything you were uncertain about, if there was a person you were uncertain about, this is like, all right, I see this for what it is. Okay, I see you for what you were doing. I see this for what, you know, it was doing to affect my life. So really just clarity here. You have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, so that was the energy of this entire reading. You know, something that doesn't go the way you expected and, you know, having to deal with the reality, okay? Knowing that something's done, knowing something that's too heavy for you to continue, knowing that something could have been, you know, blocking blessings for you. But guys, there's very strong water energy around uh, Taurus right now, okay? It could, be, it could just be with someone who has water in their charts, uh, all right? So something here is unexpectedly going to come in for you that I feel like you guys are going to think it's super dope, okay? Four of Pentacles in the reverse as your last card for the present moment. So you really having to be guarded towards a person, uh, maybe with your finances, saving up. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Had too much adversity, bye-bye. And then you have the Sun card in the reverse. So... In having to lose something, guys, and having to turn your back on it, unexpected blessings pour in. There's a lot that you're able to manifest. It could be towards a fire energy. It could be towards um, just something that you're very passionate about. I see Wands uh, suits as entrepreneurs. But because of this loss, guys, because of this difficult situation you had to just, you know, move away from, 
you have something very emotionally fulfilling coming in. Just a sense of having to be patient and believe that it's going, uh, going to come in, all right? So yeah, I really see you having to just protect yourself here. Now, as we move forward, the first card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. So for some people, this could be, you know, someone who's single. For others, it could be being self-sufficient in a situation, having everything that you need and, uh, you know, producing it on your own. We have the Judgment card in the reverse and the Two of Wands in the reverse. For some of you, you just see a love situation as a big no-no. Okay, so um, it could be that. It could be just seeing a path in your life as not being a good one for you. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles in the verse, you're not going to go towards it. So I like that because you guys already have clarity. Despite how you're feeling, you know it's going to work, you know it's not going to work. Okay, and I know that we can be stubborn as hell. Um, but for the most part, you don't want to put yourself in a position that you're so stubborn that you go towards something that you know is going to destroy you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, we want to stay away from that. Now, the next card that you guys have for the future is the Six of Cups. So that could be something in regards to children. It could be something in regards to a situation from our past. Death card. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So you guys are really just cutting something out. Okay. Or maybe there's a change with something in your past, but you're not the one who actually has to be involved in it with the Page of Pentacles in the verse. That would be your output, you know, or your input rather, not being in it. Okay. But either way, you have success. Shit works out for y'all. Okay. Right now, you guys really have to trust the universe. And I was saying this um, in the last video to Aquarius that, um, especially with Taurians, guys, and I keep saying it, I keep saying it, if you strongly have Taurus in your charts or if it's your sun sign, whatever, there is going to be so much potential for growth. It's up to you what you do with it. The next six years now, it's it's really going to favor the Torian when it comes to financial success, when it comes to us just being out there and really just living our dreams and doing what it is that we've always wanted. So you really have to trust right now. You know, have trust in yourself, have trust in the universe that if something is not working out, especially around this time where everything's really gonna go right, that it's just not meant to be there. Don't chase, don't make yourself look pathetic running after something that's not gonna work for you. All right, understand that there is a bigger picture to all of this, all right, squad? Now, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse as the last card. This could be cheating, promiscuity in a situation. This could be somebody that um, talks the talk, but they can't walk the walk, all right? Somebody that's like, yeah, I'm gonna do A, B, Z, and D, A, B, Z, exactly. Someone who says they're gonna do A, B, Z is like, what are you talking about? It makes no sense, it's A, B, C, all right? That's exactly what it is. Thank you, improv class. <laughs> All right, but let's see why this is here. Let me stop messing around so much. But there's an energy here, guys, that you're standing your ground against, but you're still kind of like not fully decided on it. All right, so you really, again, you just have to be real with yourself that this may just be something that you have to move away from. Maybe it's just painful for you to do it, but it takes you towards a new beginning. Okay. So yeah, um, I, I honestly think this is beautiful because it's showing that once you've seen the reality of a situation and you're able to move past anything that's kind of like held you back, especially if it was mental, that with patience comes wish fulfillment, okay? You guys are set up. Um, I really feel like with how the cards are playing out, some of you may question, is this good for me? You know, am I going to come out from this? Uh, is my head going to be above the water after this? Absolutely. Yeah, we got it. We, we always got it, all right? But especially now, you guys got it. So trust that if there's things that are not lasting, it's because it's not meant to. And if there's things that are coming into your life unexpectedly, then ride the wave. All right? Ride the wave. So let me pull some advice cards, and then I'm going to pull um, an oracle card. So what advice could be given to all Torians, March 2019? I'm like trying my hardest not to sneeze right now because I have the most obnoxious sneeze. Like I'm talking about six in a row that the neighbors like three miles away can hear. All right. We have the nine of cups, the 10 of wands, the moon card. Okay. 
there's a situation here, guys, that you could have been very invested in, but there's just a lot of manipulation. It was something that would have been karmic. With you walking away from it, you have the chariot. You take complete control of your life. You really get in the driver's seat of what it is that you're doing, the direction it is that you're going in, and you're really able to excel, and you make, you're able to make things happen very fast. So there could be a lot of burden that is felt, okay, with how we get up to this point. But soon you're going to realize, ah, okay, this is why it had to happen this way. And I'm happy it did. I'm happy I didn't manifest this. I'm happy, actually, that there was manipulation and it made me move away. Okay? So, honestly, I see a burden that leads to really great things. Happiness, abundance, love. All right. So, let's see what Oracle card comes out for squad. Okay, I don't know if I pulled this card before. This is still a fairly new deck for me, y'all. So, ooh, I always uh, put the num uh, numerology number for those into it. But number thirty-three, that's a very special number for me. So, um, that was just a personal sign for me. So, I think that that's great that it popped out. Now, what does this card want to give us in regards to guidance? Ah, patience, waiting for the right moment. A ballerina casts a golden line and lure with which to capture a desired goal or item. The process is calm and planned, the pace leisurely. There's no rush nor looming deadline. She will know when the right time has come and the moment is appropriate. A kingfisher, a harbin harbinger of tranquility, accompanies her and together they will wait. Despite the desire for results, some occasions or decisions simply should not be rushed. We should approach either with caution or restraint, waiting for the opportune moment. We must also be wary of being too indulgent and devoting too much time waiting for some imagined perfect moment, person, or thing. Worthy opportunities may be lost if they are overlooked in anticipation of some intangible better option to arrive. That's very powerful right there, guys. So you really have to be in a place that you're going to go with your flow right now, okay? But I don't want you guys to be at the point where it's just like you're so into this whole perfect image that you overlook, again, what's right in front of you. So that's something that we have to be aware of. And that's something that just me personally, I've been dealing with a lot because... Um, you know, we, we all want to be very spiritual people. We all want to be very in tune with ourselves. But how do we know the difference between what our intuition is telling us and the fear that we have within us? Okay, which one is truly guiding us? All right, so just be realistic with things. Not everything is perfect. Nobody, you know, most people rather, they're not going to have that perfect package. All right, there's going to be highs and lows of every situation. So with that being said don't think that everything is going to be you know running in the field there could be some burden to things there could be situations that you have to deal with that are heavy but that's life and you have to get through that so i really do feel that there's good opportunities coming in for the taurus but what is it that you have to let go of in order to get this and if it's something that again is very detrimental to you then yeah let that go or are you letting it go because it might seem more difficult than what you may want to deal with at the time? Okay, so really the question is, what's worth it? Okay, what's worth it this month? And I feel like the best way to answer that is just take a step back and look at everything, whether it's a person or a job, list the pros and cons. Okay, the cons should be no more than 15 to 20% of your lists. Okay, if it's anything more than that, then I feel like it can definitely be a hard thing to, you know, get through to. But that is just my personal take on things. I feel like things that are meant for us and the direction that we're supposed to go in life, it's just going to be effortless. Okay, so when we start following our hearts and what it is that we're doing, things kind of just fall into our laps. All right, so really just keep that in mind and make sure you're taking the right approach towards what it is that you want. All right, so squad. Good stuff. So I'll be back with some in months, guys. Um, again, my Instagram, High Vibrations44. For anyone that needs a personal reading, High Vibrations with Liz.com. Everything's in the description, so you guys will be able to find that there, okay? I love you, squad. Take care, guys.